Hey guys, this is Guy 4 bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. In the last part, I started collecting things for the second Dark World dungeon. I got, uh, two, uh, predominantly luck-based, uh, heart pieces on my first try, and decided to end the video there before all my luck went away. So now I'm here in the, uh, graveyard area. And I want to do something. Um, I want to come up to the northeast side of the graveyard over here and break that rock formation. Now, I don't think it's that one, it's this one. Break that rock formation. Can I get that with the boomerang? No. Oh well. Since I didn't have to use a lot of rupees, like I thought I would for those heart pieces, I don't really care. Nope, that was not an adequate warp spot. Let's take a couple steps. Much better. I think I want to push this, or maybe dash it. Nope. Um, <laughs> let me think for a second. Yeah, I have to ram the headstone, but these guys are not making it easy for me. Maybe I can't ram it because of where the portal is. Seriously, ghosts, excuse you. There we go. So if I come down here with my very little remaining health, in this treasure chest is the magic cape. You are invisible when you wear it. Watch your magic meter. That is only viable because of the half magic cost. Let's see. Now I want to exit there, and quickly, please, I think I just screwed myself. Huh. Well, in that case, I'm going to use the magic flute. Only because I know exactly where a Dark World entrance is from here. Um, if I knew where a bunch of hearts were offhand too, I would pick them up so that the beeping would stop. But unfortunately, I did not. So I apologize for that. That worked though, until that guy came out. Excuse you, sir. Magic camera again. And once again, pound this down, lift that up, dark world. How oh, that was weird. Okay. Give me hearts if I keep, just ram them. Yeah. Okay, so essentially I'm just going back to the graveyard again. I just messed up a little bit. So come up back this way. up these stairs and warp into the light world from here. And you'll be up on the cliff and you're able to enter this cave. 
you're getting bombs from each of those, so if that wasn't a big enough clue, but you bomb that wall. It'll open up, head back here for another piece of heart. And I'm going to collect one more thing before um, one more thing before I go to the second Dark World Palace. So that'll take me back to the I've managed to get myself into the light world again. I'll meet you at the bomb shop in the dark world, I think. Unless I'm... I could do that. It's not quite as difficult to get to the dark world as I thought it would be from here. I just have to go over to the uh, castle. Because the palace is a warp to the dark world. Alright, so head down here. I want to head towards where the entrance to the desert would be. And I'm going to warp here into the night world. That's not quite what I was thinking of, I don't believe. Nope, that's a way to get to a warp to the dark world. I warped to the light world almost exactly on top of a warp to the dark world. Interesting. Um, obviously that was not my intention. Um, maybe down here is what I was thinking of. Let's go over this way. See where that leads me. Um, I'm looking for stakes. I know that. Like right here. You see, mirror right here. And come over to the left. And there's a tablet up here. Use the Book of Medora. Hold the Master Sword and you get the magic of Bombos. Which just like kills everything on the screen. That vulture just ignited. And this is Bombos Medallion. This magic makes the ground explode with power. And as usual, watch your magic meter. Um, but... Uh... For now, uh... That's going to be it for this part. In the next part, I will be going to the Swamp Palace. I will see you guys then.